Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have Malus ex robusta, an ornamental apple hybrid from Asia. Well, here in Germany it's called Sibirischer Holzapfel or Siberian crab apple, which sounds like it's a wild species, but no, it's a hybrid of two species from Siberia and Central Asia. Heidelberg used to have a well, a quite a big collection of wild apple species, but it got destroyed for a building, for a new building, and here there is one of the last ones remaining. Well, as you can see, the fruit are really tiny and don't even look so much like apples. Oh, and those are already soft and mushy. Interesting. Hmm. 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 They taste this amazing. They taste like rose hips. Hmm. Nice. Ooh. Really a nice taste, yeah. It reminds you of apples, but very different, very sour. A little bit astringent, but that's normal when something is very sour. But a really pleasant sourness. Like rose hips, but less sweet. Like very sour rose hips. Well, let's try one hard fruit. This fruit is still hard. Hmm. When they are hard, they don't taste like rose hips. This one tastes a lot less sour. Also, it lacks the flavor of the soft ones. Still tasty, really crunchy with a nice sourness, but the sourness is much milder and with a different milder flavor. Interesting. So once they get soft and mushy, let's pick a couple of those. Once they get soft and mushy like those, the taste completely changes. Well, there are lots of fruit where the taste completely changes once they get soft and mushy, but usually they don't get more sour. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Now it acquires the typical rose hip flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Really nice and tasty. Whew. I mean, eating it out of hand. Nope, but making jam from it, I mean, the plants are much bigger than an average rose bush and you don't have the thorns to deal with. And the fruit are growing in clusters on quite long, on quite long stalks. If they have a similar vitamin C content as rose hips, then I would really consider this thing for commercial cultivation. Yeah, if they have a good vitamin C content, if they are as healthy as rose hips. Mm. That's good stuff, folks. Hmm. Hmm. Think a lot of fundamental apples. <laughs> Actually quite tasty, but this one I can really imagine it going into the commercial rose hip jam production because, well, collecting rose hips is quite a, an arduous task, so it can be done mostly in poor countries. And since a lot of those poor countries have become a lot richer lately, once we run out of poor countries, we might run out of rose hips for the rose hip gem. And this could be a really viable substitute for it. Hmm. Good stuff. Well, folks, this was Malus Robusta, an ornamental apple hybrid with an amazing taste. Stay tuned, 
for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful botanic garden of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.